it does. It matters and it matters strong. Let me say this to you. What I want to tell you today is I did a podcast with um, a Jennifer today and her podcast is about the abundant life. But she asked me a question I thought I'd like to share with you. Like what does a person do if confidence is their number one goal of growing? Because without confidence, it's impossible to lead and no one is confident in all areas i was telling a story about how when i started my very first day at harvard business school i was very confident about going to the school scared yes but confident i would complete scared yes not knowing what the competition is going to be know that it's going on a bell curve like i have got to excel with all these people who are obviously very confident about number one attending school and excelling in school clear got that However, on my very first day at Harvard Business School, I also started with a black guy. I was in a domestic violence relationship. So obviously, there was some confidence that was missing. And that's my example where confidence in one area doesn't mean confidence in all areas. However, when you've decided to take a leap somewhere, you have to create your confidence over and over and over again. So she asked me, which I thought was a great question, Gloria, what? is one of the most important things you need to do to be confident. And what I said to her was, be intentional about building your confidence. And look around, you guys. Look around to who you're attracted to. Look around to who you're willing to listen to. Look around to who you're willing to take advice, adv advice from. Look around and think about where am I going to learn so that I can lead better? And it's gonna come from those who are more confident. It's gonna come from those who Prepare for confidence. Prepare for the impact. Prepare for their influence. Prepare for the greatness. When I tell you that when you decide that confidence is something that you're going to gain, it does start to reveal itself to you where you might not have as much confidence as you want. But I'm here to tell you, no matter what the situation is, you can become more confident. And when you become more confident, you become more decisive. And when you become more decisive, your ability to lead expands. It grows. You change. You change the lives of others. Your decisions change. Your steps change. And therefore, your results change. Oh, I'm excited to be on the vertical part of YouTube live. Let's just say it. Let's just be clear. This is where people can hear you, can feel you, can touch you, and can change themselves because of you. So if you're here with me, I'm excited. Hit the subscription bo bu button. Lag in with me. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to come here. It is not always going to be like ch -ch 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 sharp and tight. It's going to be, what is the real message, Gloria? What is the real deal? What are the life decision make? decisions I need to make? What is going to get me past my stuck place? What is going to get me past? Because here's the thing I was telling her today. It's the journey. It's not the destination. It's the journey where you learn. It's the journey where you shape yourself. It's the journey that causes you to be stronger, better, deeper, wiser. It's the journey. There's a lot of different ways to do it right. But if you can pay attention to the journey, then your confidence will be stronger and your ability to make decisions. In order to be decisive, you have to know you're going to make some wrong decisions and some right decisions. It doesn't matter. I just came back from Germany training for a week over there. And when I tell you, I was training some of the top performers. And when I tell you, they are strong decision makers. They are emphatic with what they do and what they believe. However, they are always willing to listen. And you cannot be a strong decision maker if you're not willing to listen to the possibilities of people who think differently than you. Now, you've got to leave me comments. Tell me if you like this kind of information. Because me, I'm coming at you. And I'm coming at you hard. And I'm coming at you often. Welcome to YouTube Live with Gloria Mayfield Banks, because I'm living, caring, giving, and sharing. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, now I don't even know how to end this because it's my first time. Hmm.